I quit. I quit this job. And within a few weeks, accepted an offer of $250. I paid just five for all four of them. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items that sold in July for a big profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I posted this over in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, asking everybody in the group to share their best July bolo. If you're not in my Facebook group, it looks like this. Definitely go check it out. There is a link down in my link tree down below if you guys want to come over and join the Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Come share a bolo and I'll feature it in a video just like this. All right, let's get started with some big money bolos. A bolo is an item to be on the lookout for, an item you can hopefully buy low and sell high. Let's get started. So the first item here, it says... I bought these sealed Barbie Laura doll at Union Gospel Mission. They had it priced high at 25, but it was the discount color of the week and I used the coupon and got it down to $10.20. Comp showed around 60. Mine was sealed, but some of the parts had shaken loose and were floating in the box. So I shaved a few dollars off and disclosed in the listing. Sold for asking price of $55.99 within two weeks and buyer paid shipping. This is what it looks like. It's a Barbie Generation Girl Dance Party Laura doll from 1999. Generation Girl. Never seen that one. So everybody is saying that now that the Barbie movie has come out, that Barbie stuff is on the rise. Have you guys noticed that more of your Barbie items are selling? Are they selling for more money? Let me know down in the comments. This next one comes from Flippin' It Good, and he is a Bolo Buddies member. This is his YouTube channel. Definitely go check him out. He is a Bolo finder. He not only sources at like garage sales and you know, the usual places, but he does a lot of retail arbitrage and man, oh man, he finds the most amazing shoes and clothes and flips them for big profits. Definitely check out his channel. He is a Bolo Buddies member, which means he has joined memberships at level two or higher to be featured in this video. So I will pop up his store, his eBay store or YouTube channel, and I will link him down in the description. So definitely go check him out and anybody else that I mention in this video. They are more than likely a big money bolo finder with YouTube content or really fantastic eBay stores. So he said, I paid $10 for this belt buckle. I found it at a yard sale and I sent a 15% off to watchers on eBay, 150, a 153 plus shipping offer was accepted. Wow. It is a vintage Native American Navajo turquoise coral sterling silver belt buckle. $10. Wow. At a yard sale. I definitely would have picked that up. That is beautiful. He said for the next one, I found this pilot helmet at a yard sale. The host was in Iraq during the war. He sold me the helmet, some Iraq medals, and two survival maps for 25. I took an offer of 275 plus shipping for the helmet. This one sold in five days of being listed. It says um, Gentex Corporation pilot helmet and leather cap desert storm Iraq flying. Wow. I found this printer at a yard sale. I negotiated to 30. The contents were new, so I sold it in new open box. This sold for 170 plus shipping pretty quick. It is a Dymo Label Writer 450 Duo Black Paper Plastic and Postage Printer PC Mac. This is what it looks like. Yeah, any Dymo thermal printers, definitely a bolo. That's what I use to print my labels. Love it. Um, if you guys are looking for a thermal printer, um, one thing I will tell you, if you're a new reseller or just dumb, like I was, um, I don't mean that in like the way I said it, but <laughs> I feel really, really dumb because I did not understand that a thermal printer didn't use ink. So I'm like, so I'm going to have to buy sticker labels and then I'm going to have to buy ink. I'm like, this is going to be so expensive. And I put off getting a thermal printer for ever. And then I realized that you don't have to buy ink <laughs> at all. <laughs> it is so much better. It is so much cheaper. I was taping on my paper 
labels from my printer for years. You guys, if you do not have a thermal printer, it's worth every penny. You know those things in your life where you're like, this is one of the best things I've ever bought. I should have bought it sooner. This is definitely one of those things for me, okay? And this is not sponsored. I just, I don't care what thermal printer you get, but get a thermal printer. If you are doing a lot of product and printing a lot of labels, you are gonna save money because that printer ink, ooh, it'll get you. All right, and all the tape, think of all the tape and think of your time taping it on. Oh, ah, okay. I found this game. This is also from Flippin' It Good. I found this game for $5 at a yard sale. Didn't check the contents until I got home. I was surprised. Contents were new. It sold for $100 in a week plus shipping. Nintendo NES Classic Edition Mini Console System. Three games, one controller official. There you go. Okay, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member. Um, her eBay store is Ringleader75, and I think she has a different maybe store name. I think that's her username. So I will pop it up. She didn't put it in the um, description uh, with the, the rest of the comment. So if you're a Bolo Buddies member, I need you to hashtag it Bolo Buddies member with your eBay store or your YouTube channel because I can't remember everything. And if it's not there, I get stuck like right now. So uh, anyway, got this vintage paper doll set on high bid in a lot with two others for $7. It was incomplete and still sold in less than 24 hours for asking price of $50. Vintage color forms paper doll Darcy cover girl disco dress up set by Kenner from 1980. And this is what it looks like. Here is another one from her. She said, this is probably my best sale yet. Free from Facebook Marketplace. Ad, sitting in a driveway full of stuff. I seen it and knew it was a bolo. Had 1970 on the bottom and so cool looking. I looked up comps and so happy to see them selling around 200 with a nice sell through rate. I listed it at 202 and received an offer of 185 within seven hours. Thanks for all your educational content. I've learned so much. Vintage Kansas State Wildcats, Willie Wildcat, Whiskey Decanter, Purple Power 1970. And this is what it looks like. I apologize. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I apologize in advance for the book. I bought this at my local red, white, and blue thrift store. I was able to go early in the morning, midweek. Normally, I'd be at work at this time. It was chock full of other seasonal seasoned resellers. So I thought I was going to be out of luck. I saw this statue and the knickknacks and I grabbed it quickly to put it in my cart. I didn't even try to comp it. I knew it was sterling, old, beautiful, and that horse racing items were very collectible, but I didn't know exactly what it was. Did she say sterling? When one of the other resellers looked in my cart and told me how interesting it was, I knew I was onto something good. I got home and started researching. I found, it, I found one exactly like it, but it was mint. Mine is definitely not mint. It was listed as Wheeldlick Brothers, which opened between 1901 or operated between 1901 and 1950. However, their maker's mark actually said Widlick Brothers and mine did not. So I tested it to confirm it was silver and listed it unbranded for $149.99. Within an hour of posting at 10.30 p.m., I had five views and a watcher. By morning, I had an offer for $100. By mid-morning, I had 23 views and five watchers, so I figured I'd better do more research. Finally, I sold, I, I'm sorry, finally I found another Widlick Brothers mark that looked exactly like mine, so I declined the offer and edited the listing to include Widlick Brothers, the item number, and raised the price to $179. The next morning, the same seller offered $135. I knew it was a reseller, and from my Terapeak research, I knew Widlick Brothers items like this sold between $175 and $200. So I accepted their offer. I am perfectly okay with leaving a little meat on the bones for someone else. My goodness, it was a whirlwind 24 hours. So fun. I paid up for it at $14.99. It's a vintage race horse and jockey silver plate bronze statue, Widlick Brothers. Okay, so it's not sterling. It's silver plate, which that's a big difference because I kept thinking, 175 for sterling and a statue? That seems like not enough. So silver plate bronze statue. And this is what it looks like. 
Hi, Courtney. Bought this Mackenzie Child piggy bank on an online auction for $5. Listed in late June. Sold for a best offer of $165 on July 10th. Buyer was all in for $244.36 after cost of item and eBay fees. My earnings was $130. It's a Mackenzie Child's piggy bank retired polka dot Piccadilly hand painted 13 inches. It's so cute. Picked up this Barbie and box at an estate sale for 15 plus the midge box for 50 cents on half off day. Auction final for the lot was $185.50 and buyer paid shipping. Vintage Barbie 1070 doll and box plus bonus midge 1080 box only. And this is what it looks like. Huge estate sale around the corner went on for three consecutive three-day weekends. These folks were collectors of a lot of things and most things were priced on the higher side by the estate sale company. Things were well organized by collectible type. As I was picking through some random boxes in a garage, I came across these Hallmark Happy Tappers. Bolo, bolo, bolo. My husband has brought these home and I have sold them and they are a big money bolo for sure. I was not familiar with them, had never seen them, but I grabbed all four because I had lunch. A hunch. I said I had lunch. I had a hunch. Looks like lunch, but it's a hunch. Each still had their tag and three had the battery tab still in place. I was so happy once I got them home and looked them up. Complete set of five had solds for over 300. I decided to list my four for 299 and within a few weeks accepted an offer of $250. I paid just five for all four of them. I was thrilled. Thank you, Courtney, for all your hard work you do for us. This newbie truly appreciates you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, the happy tappers. I can't believe you got them with the tags. That's fantastic. Congratulations. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Cat Feeling Thrifty, and this is her YouTube channel. She is Cat Feeling Thrifty across all platforms to include whatnot. And she has her first show coming soon. Um, she may have already had it by the time this posts. So go follow her on whatnot. This cool item was in my father-in-law's items we have been going through. He was an engineer. Sold this within 24 hours. Probably sold a little too low, but checking comps was a little difficult. Keep an eye out for these. After I sold this one, I saw one at an estate sale, but it went too high for me to purchase. It's a rare... Fritz Instrument Bendix Aviation 620 and Weather bear, Barograph Instrument. I have no idea. That's what it looks like. And it looks like she sold it for $200. This was in an armoire jewelry box that I bought at a local online auction full of jewelry for $45. Sold the armoire on Facebook Marketplace for $45. Money back. This was just one piece of jewelry in it. Sold within 48 hours, full price plus shipping. Much more to sell. And I know she's going to be doing some jewelry over on whatnot, so she may have some treasures up her sleeve. Vintage West Germany filigree necklace pendant topaz citrine cabochon signed. And this is what it looks like. 74 plus shipping. I purchased this piece on whatnot. So she bought it on Whatnot. You guys, I have a whole video that talks about items that people bought on Whatnot and flipped for big money. It looks like this. I will link it down below. You can definitely source on Whatnot. Um, I'm over on Whatnot and I know people are sourcing from me. Um, I do have a referral link down below. You can use that and get $15 to shop. Definitely check it out because you can find some bolos. Um, so anyway, she purchased this on Whatnot for $37 from Lee Gogo. That's L-E-E-G-O-G-O. -G -O. Go follow her. She is incredible. She has awesome jewelry and she is on Whatnot. So she said, um, I didn't realize it until I received it that it was missing the extender, which would have had the red rhinestone as well. I put an extender that wasn't the right one and disclosed it. Sold in just a couple days for $90 plus shipping. So bought it for 37, sold it for 90. If it would have had the original extender, it probably would have sold for more. Vintage Trafari Contessa Red Aurora Borealis Rhinestone Collar Necklace Gold Tone. And this is what it looks like. Bread and butter bolos are my favorite to share. Don't sleep on a library book. Sales. Not all library books have book plates or call numbers and some are super clean. For $4, our library gave us a huge bag and told us to fill it to the top if it needed, and it needed, and if needed, let it overflow. 
This engineering book had zero stickers or stamps on it. We have 20 cents invested into it. Took an offer of $25 plus shipping. We cleared 17 after fees and promotion and it sold within 60 days of posting. Handbook of Engineering Fundamentals, um, SBOC 3rd Edition, 1975 Vintage. And this is what it looks like. I purchased this top and skirt set at a small community thrift store for $4. The brand is Bluefish Clothing. They make lagging look, lagging look. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Clothing, and it is all handmade and hand painted. So each is an individual work of art to wear. It has a following and some pieces sell for a high price. It had been listed for one year. So I decided to end the listing, switch up the photos and change the title a little. After relisting, it took a little over a month to sell. I had sent out offers to watchers, but someone came in shortly after to purchase it with 10% off sale that was running. It sold for $148.50. It is a bluefish clothing, size two top and skirt set dress, log and look, art to wear green. Huh, never heard of it. Bought this at an estate sale for $11. Actually bought two of them. Could not find exact model to comp. None I saw had a tri-grip lid. So I decided to put one up for auction. Starting bid at $39. And within minutes had an offer of $65. It was tough, but I said... It was tough, but I didn't take it and countered at $100, assuming they would decline. They did. And immediately thereafter, I had three bids and it was at $52. Sat there for the next four days and during the last 12 minutes, there was a bidding war and it ended at $128.50. So exciting to watch, especially knowing I have another one to sell. Attach, attaching a picture showing how great this glows with a black light too. Jadeite kitchen glass refrigerator dish with tri-grip lid glows uranium vintage. So pretty. It pays to tell people what you do. This one is from Jersey, Jersey Shore Thrifter. A lot of people are afraid to let on that they are a reseller when they are at a sale, but sometimes it can pay big dividends. I attend an estate sale at a packed hoarder house, and it turns out the woman running the sale was someone I had worked with years ago. Talked to her about reselling and ended up getting invited back after the sale was over because she just had to get rid of it all. Whatever hadn't sold was going into the trash, and so she allowed my wife and I to go in and take whatever we wanted for free. There was a train set there that was absolutely massive. Would have been a nightmare to ship. G-scale trains are very large. I bought I brought it home and <laughs> I brought it home strapped to the roof of my car. <laughs> oh, Jerry, do you have a picture of that? Oh, please say you do. Please say you do. That is awesome. Um, let's see. I lost my spot. Because it would not fit inside along with the other stuff we got. I parted it out and listed various parts of it separately and have so far made two sales. This is the tracks and transformer from the set. Sold for $99.99 plus shipping. I have sold one of the cars also for $39.99 plus shipping. Are any of you just still sitting there thinking about all of this on top of his car and what that looks like? <laughs> I still have another train car and the engine left to go. My cost was zero. Don't be afraid to tell people what you do. Bachman G scale train tracks, complete oval with transformer extras uh, work C video. So there's that one. And then here is the Bachman G scale big hauler combine car passenger mail uh, lighted D and RG Denver Rio, whatever that means that he sold for, I believe, $39.99 plus shipping. Oh my goodness, that is so funny. Uh, Bolo Buddies member Dolo Deals. This is her eBay and Etsy. Purchased three mugs a few weeks ago at a rummage sale, probably paid a dollar or less each. Two of the three sold in two weeks for $35 each on Etsy. Thank you, Courtney, for all you do. Thank you so much for being a Bolo Buddies member and thank you for sharing. Uh, vintage uh, Port... Portamirian? I don't know. Complete <laughs> angler mug. I quit. I quit this job. This is what it looks like. Made in England, 1981. Perch fish mug perch. Oh my goodness. Seriously, just read the title. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Okay. 
Hopefully the next one's easier. This one comes from Nina's Jewels. This is her YouTube channel. Also a Bolo Buddies member. Definitely check her out. Uh, her and her husband sell awesome stuff and they are Bolo Finders. Sold both of these to the same buyer for a total of $174.96. We paid $2 total for all of them. They came from the church rummage sale where we got the large lot of vintage photography and negative enlarging equipment. So much of that purchase has sold. Positive feedback has already been received and we are still and we still have current and we still have lots of equipment and even more darkroom trays left to sell. Church sales have the best deals and sometimes unexpected stuff. All right, so this says lot of six Yankee 11 by 14 black plastic ag Aggie Aggie tray darkroom film developer right there. And the other one says lot of four vintage plastic darkroom film photography. I don't know. It looks like this. So these two items. <laughs> Banda travel bag. Got it at the Goodwill bins for $2 and sold it for $125 plus shipping. Someone tried to take it out of my cart at the bins. But I was able to hang on to it. Somebody tried to steal it from her cart? Oh my goodness. That's awful. Somebody stole my cart one time. Yeah. Okay. It says, Bolo Buddies member, simply this fancy that. Hello. Here's my July Bolo. I paid $5 at an estate sale and sold her during a 50% off sale for $62.50. And this one comes from AEG Estate Treasures. And this is an American Girl Addie Walker's 18-inch doll be Forever Book Retired, new in box. And this is what it looks like. Five bucks? She got an American Girl doll for five dollars? What? Wow. How on earth? Huh. I would have thought a new one would go for way more than that. You guys, tell me about American Girl dolls. Which ones go for big money? Is it like the older ones? Educate me. If you know something about American Girl, let me know down in the comments because I thought that they went, I mean, I see them at garage sales for like 50, 75. I mean, people price them crazy. Um, also wanted to let you know that AEG Estate Treasures, her eBay store, it looks like this. I'll link her down below. She is doing bundles for resellers and um, she has them priced really good. So definitely check her out and she has free shipping on those. So she's doing that for... Um, members of Bolo Buddies. So check it out. Check her out. Check her out. Hi, Courtney. I bought this Woolrich bomber jacket for $5 at a garage sale. I remembered hearing on one of your videos that vintage Woolrich sells listed for 150 and took a best offer of 102 on eBay. Thank you for all your wonderful videos. All right. Awesome. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Eat, Pray, Thrift. And this is a vintage Woolrich goose down puffy puffy puffer jacket and it's a coat and this is what it looks like bought five of these vam bought five of these vampire 3d journals at a garage sale for a dollar each i love to give out gifts for holidays and thought these would be unique use google lens and found out they were definitely unique this is the third one i have sold and went it went on ebay for a best offer of 29.99 i sold another in may for 40 this one comes from Bougie Thriftin Mama, and this is her eBay store. And she sold this new old stock Vampires the Journal 3D rubber cover with designed blank pages. Check that out. I found this book on the free table at my local small thrift store where I do volunteer work. I listed it immediately and sold it probably a year later, July 1st of 2023. For full asking price of $49.99 plus shipping. So while a bolo, it was a slow bolo, but I'll take it. Um, it is plebe. Uh, probably saying that wrong. Summer of the U.S. Naval Academy photos. Pete Susie paperback, 2003. The next one comes from Finding Fun Things. And this is our eBay store. And she sold this vintage goodie 35 colored wire brush mesh hair rollers. They're curlers, guys, for $35 plus shipping. 
She said, I purchased these a few years ago at the bins when it was 79 cents a pound. So I probably paid about 75 cents for it. I put them up for auction for 35 and got one bid. I'm glad I learned to set an opening bid at what I want for them. Awesome. Yes, yes, I definitely recommend that. All right, let's do one more here. Whoopsie. Okay. eBay store impressions created, and this is what her eBay store looks like. I bought a big box of Christmas items on an online auction, mostly for the Spode dishes. This binder was in the bottom of the box and it sat in my money pile for a while, but all the fuss about stickers by Courtney, <laughs> that's me, made me think these antique new old stock lick and stick could be a bolo. Paid $1.66 for each item in the box. I decided to list it at $300 or best offer and took a second offer of $100. And she said, very happy because I probably would have donated. And this is what it looks like. <laughs> she said, I made a fuss. <laughs> I do make a fuss about stickers. Stickers are awesome. All right, you guys, if you haven't seen my stickers bolo videos, definitely go and check them out. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.